Hey, this is John with Washam Development, and I'm here this time uh, to talk about a really cool plugin or library that's called Skia Sharp. I've recently had the privilege of working with it, um, doing some image generation. Really, really cool what you can do with this. You're able to work with images, um, writing text out on an image using um, a custom font file. Um, you can draw simple shapes. You can do all kinds of really cool stuff with it. And so I thought it would be helpful to just kind of walk through a basic example. Um, one thing that's really helpful is having a really simple testing environment to try out some of the concepts with Skia Sharp. And so I thought we'd walk through that today. Um, one thing that'd be really helpful to read through is uh, they have on the site, um, it references Xamarin Forms a lot, but it's not, it, it's a cross-platform uh, library. So you're able to use it anywhere, not just with Xamarin Forms, but you'll see that referenced a lot. But on this site, uh, you'll see a lot of really great information on kind of getting started. Um, but of course, I know even for myself, it's nice to kind of walk through some concepts and just get something simple up and going. So uh, let's do that with this first one here. So the first thing, one of the easiest ways to um, have kind of a testing environment is let's just fire up Visual Studio. And we're going to create a simple Windows form app. So let's just make this into the um, Skia Sharp sandbox. I'm going to go ahead and make this for .NET 472. And we'll get this created. Um, what we can do here is, uh, of course, it's going to start us out with this window here. Um, what we'll do is just bring in a simple button, which will be our rendering button. Uh, let's go over here. We're going to have to give it a name that we can reference it by. So this will be our render button. If you just double click on it, it will automatically create a click event. This is what will be fired once you click on that button. So that's handy to have done already. Uh, one other thing we can do, we want to be able to see what Skia Sharp is outputting. So uh, if you don't have your toolbox open already, you can go to View and then Toolbox, and that gives you a really quick reference to all of these, uh, all of these here. So we're looking for a picture box. So let's go ahead and drag that up here. We want to make it size. I'm going to make it pretty simple and just make it uh, like a 300 by 250. So now we've got that picture box. Uh, we also want to go ahead and give it a name. So it's picture box one, so that's fine. So now we'll have, be able to get reference to that picture box later. So now that we've done that, um, if you right click on the project, manage NuGet packages, we got to go ahead and install Skia Sharp, which is easily able to be found. Install. Go ahead and get that installed. That is thankfully the only thing you have to do to get Skia Sharp there. Okay, so now we've got this set up. If we hit F5 and go ahead and run that with debugging, you'll see that we've got that. If you click that, it's going to fire the click event. Of course, we don't have anything in there yet. So that's great. We've got that working. So now um, I just want to start out with obviously the most basic here. There's a couple different ways to get started with Skia Sharp. You have to have what's called a surface, and I think maybe a pretty simple way to explain it is that a surface is like the easel, and then you put a canvas, or each, surf, each surface has a canvas um, that you can do. So let's, we're going to start out with a try statement, and uh, make sure and hit control period on here using Skia Sharp. There we go. So now we've got that. You do need to have a an image info, which this is going to be the size, so width and height. Pass it there. Now you've got a canvas, and from here on out is where you are going to be able to do all of the other really fun stuff with Skia Sharp. So in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and um, show how to draw a circle and uh, get started so you can actually see something on there. So I'll see you in the next video.